walking um, in Anne Street and I'm standing opposite one of the entries or passageways leading from Anne Street through to High Street and there's a lorry just parked in the road. People pass through these and people pass through these entries all the time and uh, don't quite realize that these entries are uh, historic they're iconic uh, they have been some of them have been here since the uh, mid 1600s and certainly this is one of the best known entries or alleyways in Belfast Pottinger's entry so who was this guy Pottinger well um, he was. He lived uh, 1789 through to 1856, and he was an adventurer, and he was a world traveller, and he was a colonialist, and he was an army man, and he, uh, he fought campaigns here, there, and everywhere, and travelled in China and India and elsewhere, and he ended up being a uh, first colonial governor of Hong Kong. He was born uh, out at Mount Passenger, out at the Mount in East Belfast. But these alleyways um, were the original heart of Belfast, these entries, these passageways. And they were narrow and they were ribbon-like and they usually had a, a, a pub on them and some of them still do, dating from that particular time. The, the mid 1600s, 1700s, 1800s and they serviced the dense residential and commercial uh, buzz that was going around in the city at that time because everything was was um, geared around uh, financial transactions and money making and deals and sending ships out here there and everywhere so there's a big maritime connection and uh, industrial connection here there's a, there's a whole clatter of these uh, entries unfortunately many of them were destroyed uh, the, uh, in the blitz in the second world war but a whole lot of them, them have been refurbished and this particular entry here Pottinger's entry is the main one and it leads to the uh, iconic historic Morning Star bar and restaurant and it's a great place for buskers uh, uh, apparently because uh, the acoustics are really really good Pottinger's entry and there's the Morning Star uh, pub and it did dates the Morning Star pub is one of our oldest uh, Belfast pubs that dates from 1810 that's a uh, a fabulous place to come in and spend a few hours. Historic pub here. And it's got it's got a a lion up here. the winged land of St. Mark. So if you're ever down this way, this pub is not to be missed. Nice frosted windows, uh, nice tiles, and uh, it's pretty much on terrace floor, I forgot to mention that. And it's pretty much the same as it was all those years ago. And it's a good enough reason to come into Pottinger's entry. This pub was actually mentioned in the Belfast newsletter, one of the oldest newspapers, in fact the oldest newspaper in the world. And this pub was mentioned in the 1800s as being a terminus or a terminal for the Belfast to Dublin stagecoach. Just spotted this wee notice board outside the Morning Star. Husband crash. You can read that for yourselves. And this is the upper end of the entry. It's a quite a short entry. 
uh, onto High Street. And it's one of the few entries that has its own um, gateway, so to speak. And this, this entry would no doubt date from the, what, the late 1600s. All changed here, all these buildings and whatnot uh, aren't the same, but the, uh, the Morning Star pub is So Pottinger's entry. Across from Pottinger's entry is um, another entry, it's Sugar House entry, but it, it was blitzed, completely blitzed in the Second World War, and there's nothing really of the old uh, Sugar House entry left. But it's interesting because it was a meeting place for the United Irishmen and then of course uh, uh, sugar used to be manufactured on it so that's why it became known as Sugar House Entry. <laughs> 